Let's graph the set of x such that negative 3 is less than or equal to x is less than 0 on a number line and then we'll also provide the interval notation for this particular set. So first of all let's make ourselves a number line and on this number line we need to include the numbers from negative 3 to 0. So I'll come down and label the 0 and I know that negative 3 is to the left of 0 so I'll also label negative 3. Okay, negative 3 is included in this particular set. So it says negative 3 is less than or equal to x. So it is included. And the way that we usually denote this on a number line is by using a closed dot. Or a bracket. I actually prefer the bracket, but I know that our textbook is using a closed dot. So there's the closed dot. The number 0 is not included. It says less than 0. So all the x is up to but not quite including 0. And the way that we denote this is to use a open dot. So there's an open dot located at 0. So all the numbers from negative 3 to 0. And notice that the x is in between those two. So we want to shade the numbers that are in between those two dots. So there's our interval notation. Again, some people use brackets for the closed dots and some people use parens or parentheses on the open dots. Now the main reason I'm a big fan of the brackets and the parentheses notation as opposed to the closed dot and open dot is because it makes the interval notation so much easier. The interval notation so much easier. The interval notation for this interval would be, well, we look at the number line and we see where we start shading. So notice as I start over here on the far left at negative infinity, I'm not shading, not shading, not shading, not shading, and then all of a sudden I start shading at the number negative 3. When do I end shading? I keep shading, 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 and then I stop shading at the number 0. Is negative 3 included? Yes, it was a closed dot. So in interval notation, we use a bracket. And do I include the number 0? No, that one's an open dot. So I use the parenthesis. And this is called the interval notation. Interval notation. Also important to note, if we have a number line or a set that ends up extending off to infinity, infinity is always given a parenthesis because infinity is not actually a number. So you'd never include it inside of any kind of interval uh, in, in Algebra 2.